What are you doing under the bed? Huh? What are you doing under the bed? What are you doing? You're getting filthy under there is what you're doing. <laughs> you're so funny. Is that your blanket? Travel's like, what is going on? Look, you scared Chapel. Oh. <laughs> you scared Guido. You scared Chapel. <laughs> oh, there's Guido's steps. Are you going to put them back for him? We'll put them back. We'll put them back. Here, look. I'll put them back. You're filthy from being under that bed, Gavin. No human should be under the bed. You hear me? No human should go under there. It's only meant for spiders and kitty cats. Oh, and now you get to crawl all over my bed with your filth. Hmm. I tell you what, this uh, cart, this clean cart, is one of the best things that we bought Gavin uh, for Christmas. He absolutely, he's watching Daniel Tiger. He absolutely loves this. He drags it all over the house. When he has Legos like this and I say let's clean up, he'll get his broom because he knows we can sweep them all together in a pile and then put them up. Yeah. You gonna get your broom now? Are you gonna clean? Of course, I gotta keep him from hitting things. Are you gonna clean? Yeah, it can be dangerous. You do have to watch them. But I just wanted to say, I'm very glad that we got this. Um, it was worth it. I don't know how much it was, 20, 30 dollars, I don't remember, but it was worth every penny. And Kevin has seen them to where there's like a circle part in the back underneath down there. Kevin has seen them with a bucket down there, so it makes me wonder why a bucket didn't come with this set. But now, it wasn't missing or anything because we looked on the box and this one had all the pieces, but you can see a bucket would have fit perfect back there in the back. So, I don't know why they didn't add that. Maybe they thought it was dangerous or, you know, if a kid really filled it up with water that they could drown, that's a horrible thought, but maybe that's why it didn't come with one. I don't know. So, uh, but anyway, uh, good investment. So, I've got the uh, washing machine going, and Kevin was able to stay at home for a little while this morning because he has his doctor's appointment. And uh, with our Humana Vitality, it's, we're under Blue Cross now insurance, but we still get Humana Vitality points. So, if you take paperwork in um, and get it filled out, then they give you points. And so anyway, look, can you say hi? So, the cat's in the sink, so I went scat. I'm in the bathroom, if you can't tell. I'm getting ready to clean. Uh, but so anyway, Kevin was able to go in a little bit later, leave a little bit later, because he has his doctor's appointment first thing this morning, and that'll be his like yearly checkup. And then um, 
you know, going to work from there. And those points are a great way for the insurance company to get you to go to the doctor uh, once a year if you like collecting the points and getting free stuff. Because like um, Kevin's uh, Fitbit, he got that free and he's working towards getting like a better one uh, for free. Um, but he would have never gone to the doctor before if he wasn't collecting points for that Fitbit to get that Fitbit. He, uh, he just wouldn't have gone at all. Uh, and frankly, if I didn't need medicine, um, I wouldn't go either. So that's that's just the truth of it. So don't pick your nose. No. 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 That's so nasty. Oh yeah. Nasty. 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 Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth. You're so pretty. I love you. So anyway, I'm getting ready to clean. And I'm going to clean the shower behind me. And I've bought this. I went ahead and spent a few extra dollars to get this to see if I liked it or not. And I really do. Uh, the smell is a little strong. So if you're sensitive to certain scents, you probably wouldn't want to get this one. But um, it works really well. And then I also went ahead, sorry I'm putting him down, I also went ahead and spent a few extra dollars and got this big uh, value size box and I saved, I think I saved like 50 cents, I'm not sure. Usually I buy just the thin, the single pack. These are toilet, well I guess you can read that toilet one of those. Um, I love these because used to, I used to have the regular uh, thing that you put behind the toilet or wherever, the, the brush, the toilet brush and it would get nasty and you'd have to leave it sitting there and with this if you haven't watched the video i actually show myself doing this it is so easy and these go in the garbage and there's nothing gross about it it's really nice so anyway this is the value pack so you get two i think i saved 50 cents or a dollar or something like that by going ahead and spending the money and uh, getting the, the value pack so anyway no no that's papa's drawer we're being a little nosy getting in drawers right now usually we keep this bathroom door closed uh when he's here just so that that's just this is just there's nothing bad in here it's just one more room that i have to watch him in and if i can keep him out then i will so um and you know you have to worry about toddlers around toilets and stuff like that and uh, so normally he's not even in this bathroom. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get started cleaning and I'll check back in a little bit. Does anybody else have to climb up on their shower to clean it? When we first moved in here, I was not cleaning for like, I don't know, the first two months or something. I wasn't cleaning this lip up here that goes all the way around the top, and I, I couldn't see it, so I mean, I would just stand on the floor, and I would just clean, you know, the inside part, but not the top, and so then Kevin asked me, he said, do you ever clean that top part, and I said, no, why, you can't see it, and he said, well, I can see it. So, even though I can't see it, no, 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 even though I can't see it standing in the shower, Kevin's taller than me, so Kevin can see it. So, I started having to climb up there and clean that, but I really like that scrubbing bubble stuff. Um, I hope you can hear me. I really like the scrubbing bubble stuff because um, it comes out so easy. It seems to do a great job.
have these gloves in a box at Walmart and um, you can buy them in the medical stuff or the home stuff and uh, the cleaning stuff and then I just use one of these. Uh, we use the same thing to wash dishes with, that uh, type at the sink. Um, and then I use these to get the around the tops because for some reason dust collects under um, where like the carton goes back and forth, dust will collect. Gavin, did you stick that rod in here? Yeah. Yeah, well don't do that please because it's freaking melting. Well, I'm finished with the bathroom. There are clothes lying up here, as you'll see. Those are Kevin's for when he gets home from work. He takes off his dress clothes and puts on the He wears the same. I know you all think that we do reviews like 10 in one day, but he just wears the same clothes, and I do sometimes too, um, for several days, because if you're not doing anything, getting dirty, well then why not? And he um, only wears them for a couple of hours when he gets home from work. So that's his pile. That's Ashley's pile for when she gets home. Hopefully she'll get them because they've been laying there for a week and I hate that. But I got my Swiffer out to do the bathroom floor. There's nothing on the end of it right now. But Mr. Gavin, Mr. Gavin's helping me. I wish there was something on the end of that right now because he's been doing a good job. The only thing he is, he walks over where he sweeps. So he would be walking through stuff. But I've cleaned everything in there. I just have to do um, the floor. And I'm going to put another load in of clothes. There's the cat. There's Chapel. He's like, what is he doing? He's watching you, Gavin. So I'm getting ready to put another load of clothes in. But I wanted to show you. I bought these at Kroger. And normally, um, and some people are going to disagree with me, it's okay. Um, I don't mind buying Kroger brand anything. Um, I bought Kroger brand peanut butter and, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Kroger brand coffee, um, anything. But I, well, didn't think we were going to be going to Walmart one night. So I picked up their uh, dryer sheets. I don't like them at all. I'm going to use them because I do not like to waste money. And they do uh, get the static out of your clothes. But when you take them out of the dryer, you're not pulling out like a whole dryer sheet like you're used to, like with the snug, what is it, snuggles or bounty or any of those. You're pulling out like, it's almost like a, a tissue that's been left in somebody's pocket or something. It's just, it's just this collapse thing and you wonder how it's working at all. I'll try to remember to show it to you um, when it comes out of the dryer because I've been using two instead of one because I swear I don't see how it's working if it's like in a little ball and it's like paper thin anyway. So I'll just have to show it to you. Um, but I wanted to tell you some stuff that's been going on. Um, Andrew was in a wreck. Now, he didn't get hurt. Didn't tell you that right now. Um, I won't keep you wondering throughout this story. Um, he, it was not his fault. He was going through his neighborhood and um, somebody hit him and knocked his bumper completely off. Uh, so, his Mazda, that he has not even had that long. Um, he, his car is identical to Kevin's, um, except uh, the, mo the uh, model and everything. Except Kevin's is white and Andrew's is black. So, it's really cool. Um, but uh, they knocked the bumper completely off. And Andrew said that when, they, when, they, when it first happened, apparently the guy lived nearby. So the guy tried to run inside his house and get his girlfriend and tell the police officer that his girlfriend was driving and not him. So Andrew made sure he told the police that. And then um, he gave his insurance to the police officer. 
Well, it said that it expired the next day. So I told him, I said, that's not a problem. I said, because as long as he had insurance, it didn't matter if it expired the next day, he still has insurance. And, uh, and, uh, and also, Andrew said that he was driving with a permit, not a license. So he wasn't supposed to be driving anyway. So, come to find out, the guy had canceled the, his insurance on that car like 12 days prior to this wreck. I might not be telling the exact days, but that's okay. Like 12 days prior, he uh, canceled the insurance on that vehicle. So, uh, he has no insurance. So, Andrew and Christina have to, uh, their insurance company has to cover it. And Andrew and Christina have to pay a $500 deductible. And um, the reason that's bad is because they may or may not get that money back. If the insurance company can get that money back, then they will get it back for Anna and Christina. But if the guy doesn't pay, then he doesn't pay. Now, they went down to the courthouse and they filed like a, I want to say it's called a criminal summons. Now, that might not be right at all, because I'm not used to all this. Um, so, the guy, what that means is the guy will be served with papers and the guy will have to go to court. The court, when he goes to court, uh, they will tell him that he has to pay a certain amount within a certain amount of time. If he doesn't pay Andrew and Christina in that certain amount of time, then he will go to jail. But sometimes people like this, sketchy people, uh, especially if it's only like two weeks in jail, well, they would rather go to jail than pay the money. So we'll see. Um, and so right now, Andrew does not have a car. Uh, Andrew is fortunate that um, he, uh, there's a friend of his that lives in town. I think that's as far as the door will open. Um, he has a friend that lives in town, and uh, that friend has been taking him to and from work because his insurance company said that they would not cover a uh, loaner car because they have to go after the guy for the money if they pay for that. It's, it's just, it's a mess. And I don't know if that's Ada or Christina not having the best insurance. I don't know. I know they have full coverage insurance, so they have what everyone else has. So I think that's just the way it is. Nobody wants to pay for anything, but I think it's a shame that this wasn't Andrew's fault. Andrew's out of car. He's having to get a ride to work. Uh, in the afternoons, um, we are having, we're gonna have to take Gavin home. Um, now today, I don't have a car seat. Christina forgot to give me the car seat. So Gavin will be here until Christina gets home from work. And I bet she doesn't even realize that yet because uh, not give me a car seat this morning. If you're wondering what I'm getting, I'm getting laundry out of a basket on the floor. Um, so anyway, she didn't give me the car seat this morning, so I don't even have a way to get him home until Andrew, and the extra car seat is in her car in, at her work. So Andrew won't even have a car seat. But it's almost time to buy Gavin a new car, new car seats because um, I think it's so interesting. I watched the Sacconi Jollies in England. And in England, Eduardo is almost, I, or he might be a year old. If he's, he might be almost a year if he's not already just turned a year. And they have already turned, they bought new car seats and it's turned around so that everyone's facing the same way in the vehicle. So over here in the United States, you have to be 30 pounds, which, you know, um, some, that, so that's not depending, uh, it's just 30 pounds. And even I looked up some car seats online and they go from 30 pounds to 100 pounds. So it's like, okay, that's the standard. So Gavin is only like 26 pounds. So even though he'll be two in July, 
he still doesn't weigh enough for them to flip his car seat around. So he still is driving facing to the back and his feet are squashed up in the back of the car, which I always think would cause more harm than good. But Christina asked the doctor and the doctor told her that they like to keep them facing the back as long as possible because that's safer. And I get that, but I just think it's funny that they've already turned Eduardo around and I think it would be fine if he, I would do it if he were mine, but he's not mine and I respect, you know, their feelings. Um, I would turn him around. I think he's plenty big enough to turn around. But um, anyway, that's off topic, I know. But Andrew's car, hopefully he'll get it back. Um, I'll have to I'll let you know. Oh, he sent me some pictures of the bumper missing on the car. So I'll, they're not great pictures because they were on his phone and he just sent them to me through the phone and everything. So I'll insert those here. I'm in the other bathroom cleaning now and Gavin just came to me and he held up his hand and he said, wash, wash. And I said, you want to wash your hands? And yes. So I put him up to the sink. I rolled his little sleeves up and I put, put him in the sink and he washed his hands and then dried them and then went back to watching Daniel Tiger. So I think uh, that's the first time he said wash like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Here he comes. He doesn't want to be on camera, apparently. He said, no, 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 and he slipped in the other room. <laughs> he knows when he wants to be on camera and when he doesn't. When we're doing a food review, the child wants to be on camera. So, I'll, uh, I'm cleaning this bathroom now. I've cleaned out the bathtub that we don't use, and um, now I've got to clean everything else. So, actually, this bathroom doesn't take that long because we don't... Um, I don't know. It just doesn't, this bathroom just doesn't seem to take as long. Um, maybe because we don't, uh, change and, uh, we don't have a shower in here. We don't take a bath. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem to take as long. So, even though it's a bigger size, if that makes any sense at all. You like that? Is that a tunnel? Ooh, he's climbing in his tunnel. Cool. So I'm just preparing the den for Gavin's nap. I pulled his playpen out in the middle and I've closed these curtains and now I need to close these. Um, I found, I was cleaning the bedroom and I found a shoestring under the bed. And so Gavin's playing with chapel with that. And uh, yeah, you can hear, I don't know, you probably can't hear him laughing back there. Here he comes. But the cat was chasing him. So we do that for nap time so that this room is as dark as possible. I mean, you can see some light still comes in here through that window, but it's pretty relatively dark. And then I close off half the door so that the um, light from the front door doesn't shine in. Let's see if he's tormenting the sky. Oh, there's the cat. Where's Gavin? Where's, there's Gavin. Aren't you going to play with him? Play with him. Let's see. Let's see. Are you going to let him have it? You have to share. Yeah. Now, 
Here, they only hold one end. Now, there we go. Now he'll get you. Yeah, of course, Gavin goes in a room where there's no exit. There's no way out for him. Gavin, let Chapel play with it. Gavin wants to hold both ends so the Chapel can't get them. Gavin, let Chapel play with it. Be nice. <laughs> Chapel's just waiting to play. He wants to play with you. Are you going to let him play with you? Say, nope, not today, bud. I know the camera's kind of wonky. This, I told you I'd show you, try to remember to show you the uh, dryer sheet. That's what the dryer sheet comes out looking like. It just looks like a... I don't know. It looks shriveled and it looks like a used Kleenex. So I don't plan on buying those anymore. Those are ridiculous. Gavin's asleep if you're wondering why I'm being kind of quiet, even though I'm way back in the laundry room. Um, I put him to sleep and um, then when he gets up from his nap, I'll feed him and then I'll do the vacuuming and, and stuff like that. And he loves it when I vacuum. So um, he'll enjoy that quite a bit. So Gavin's up from his nap, and he just ate, finished lunch, and I'm ironing one of Kevin's shirts. You probably can't see it because it's down here. Um, but I was always taught that you do the collar of the shirt first, and then, hold on, let me, let me move you down a little bit. Hard to get this just right. Let me see if you can see this now. Okay. I was always taught for a shirt, typical dress shirt, that you do the collar first, which I did, and then you put each shoulder on. So you get your right shoulder, or your left shoulder, and then you do your right shoulder, and then you do sleeve, sleeve, and then the rest of it. So I've done the collar and shoulder, shoulder, and now I'm doing a, doing a sleeve. But that was, that's just the way that I was always taught. That doesn't mean it's right. I am a horrible ironer, I think. Um, and I think I've said it in the past that I've been made fun of um, for my ironing, lack of ironing skills. So, you know, it's all right. I don't, it's not like I iron a lot. What you doing, buddy? <clears throat> what you doing? Huh? Do, do we need to change your diaper? Do we need to change you? Yeah, we'll change you in just a minute. Yeah, don't you don't want to play with the ironing board. So now we're to the body. I did the sleeve sleeve, so this is the side with the buttons. And I just slide it, I guess depending on how big your shirt is. I go in between each button. And I have my iron set on the cotton. Um, even though I didn't look, I, I set it to cotton. And then you get the, you screw it over and you get the body part. It's just how I was taught. I'm sure there are different ways of doing this, but depending on who you take these to, um, some people, some places do a really good job, and some places don't do any better than I would do here at home. So you, if you have the extra money, you can try your luck with. Um, Uh, the uh, laundry people, but um, you might discover that if you have time at home, it's just better to do it at home. The dry cleaner, that's who I was trying to think of. And it doesn't take very long. 
normally I would um, uh, put on, like if I have something, a bunch to do, then I would turn on Pandora and listen to the radio or something. But since I just have this one shirt, then I'm not worried about it. Wait one more second. I have, literally, I'm almost done, okay? I'm almost done. Almost finished. I guess I should say finished, not done. But normally I would put on Pandora's when I was saying, and then I wanted to say too. I was upstairs in Ashley's room the other day, and she told me she put on a pair of pants, and it was they were so wrinkled that she was embarrassed to wear them, and she had to take them off and hang them back up. Well, instead of taking them off and hanging them back up, if she had brought them down here, I would have washed them, and I would be ironing them right now. But since they're upstairs, hanging up in the closet, I'm not going to do that. And I told her, I said, they're probably wrinkled like that because when you take them off, you throw them on the bed and uh, you don't hang them up. So I vacuumed in the bathroom because there's a rug and the kitchen floor and the bedroom and I'm going to do the den and then the living room. And you can see what keeps Gavin occupied while I'm doing it. Ready? Say ready. <laughs> Lito's ready. that swiffer from him and I'm gonna get under the couch because it gets dusty under there I guess where the door opens up and it all goes under there and I don't notice it until I want to film something and then I notice hey it's dusty underneath the couch so I'm gonna go get something I think these will be good enough. I have these Swiffer 
Here, let me see this for just a minute. For just a minute. I have these Swiffer. These are dry. I use wet ones in the bathroom and stuff. But these, I use these not only for the to put on this mop, but I also use these to clean with. When I don't want to, when I just want to do a quick clean over the furniture and I don't want to get furniture polish out, I will get one of these and go over the furniture with that, uh, them and they pick up dust. Uh, they're excellent to pick up dust. I use them on the televisions and everything and it hasn't hurt them yet. So you don't put anything liquid, you just use them like that. So, but right now I'm gonna get under this couch. I'm sure it, the angle will be awful. Okay, yeah, we gotta clean. Now, if you learn to do that, you can do it. You can vacuum. Can you do that? Can you vacuum? I would like for you to vacuum. You can do that. You wanna do that one? Go. Let's see how much we got. Oh, goodness gracious. It was filthy. Filthy under there. But you know what? I haven't cleaned it in probably a month because I don't think about it cleaning under the couch. Who cleans under their couch? It's not Norman. Okay, we're going to take this off over the... We have to take it off over the trash can and then you can have it back. Okay, I got the last load of clothes folded. And now Gavin wants to dance. So we're gonna see what's in here. I don't even know what CD's in here. Huh, <laughs> Gavin found some new sunglasses. Cool dude, let's put them on you. Oh, cool dude, you look sharp. Yes, you do. I like those. <sighs> can put them back up. You can put them back. He likes coming up here in Ashley's uh, upstairs because it's like a whole new, uh, it's a whole new little world up here for him. Where are you taking me? Oh, you like that? That's Miss Ashley's name. Yeah, you like that? He's like, yes, I want to pull it off the wall. If I could just get up in this chair. You, you got to be careful with it. Oh, he made it. You got to be very careful, okay? Oh, easy. No, no, easy. Those are buttons. Yes, Miss Ashley made that. Really? Yes, those are buttons. Oh, you get some glitter on you. Let's not do that. She did this a long time ago, yarn, and she went through a, like a Pinterest period where she was, he's not watching, he's going to step right off the edge of that, where she was making things. Okay, let's get down. So, we've come out on the porch because it's a pretty day, and Gavin's never had any toys out here, really, because last year he was too small to have anything. So, I had him bring his little cart out here because he likes it so much. He likes to clean, so he might as well clean this porch because it's filthy. I'm sitting here. I moved the uh, chair from over there to over here so he can't get down. See, you can see me in the door. You can see how I've done it. So, he can't get down. The steps are right behind me. And so I blocked it off to where he can't. Now don't throw it over the edge. Um, I blocked it off to where he can't go down the steps. So, are you gonna clean? Are you gonna clean? It's dirty out here. You have to clean. It's dirty. Nope, we're not going down there. Nope, nope. Nope, any little space and he wants to get out. You have to clean for me. You see he brought a uh, chapel's pig. I don't know why. He, he, I said, grab a toy. Let's go outside. And so he grabbed that pig. <laughs> hey, I thought this was funny. We just got this in the mail. Today is... Sorry, Gavin's running around. Making noise. Show oh. what he's doing. Show what he's doing. He's playing. 
He's playing with Jeff. <laughs> and I have this garbage ready to take out. So. I don't think the cat's playing. Anyway, I think this is funny. We got this. Today is Wednesday, April 1st. And it says they're closed Friday to have our uh, recycling curb by 7 o'clock on Wednesday, April the 1st. We just got it today. So it's a little too late to let us know about having the recycling down early. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock this morning. And, and uh, it's a little late. Anyway, I thought that was pretty funny that we just now got that in. <laughs> Well, I'm getting ready to get in the shower, and so I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog for tonight. Um, not that I vlogged a lot this afternoon, but um, I'm going to get in the shower and take my makeup off and my hair will look awful and all that. So, um, but anyway, um, Kevin gave, Christina came and got Gavin, and then when Ke uh, Kevin was here, and we went to Kroger, and um, I am putting that grocery stuff and I'll put that in one big haul this weekend because we bought like today's Wednesday we bought like a little bit Monday and a little bit today and so we'll probably get more on Friday or Saturday so I'll just put it together in one big grocery haul that'll make it a lot easier so um anyway we really haven't done we ate dinner and um really haven't done anything else but just played on the computer and and uh, watched some videos and stuff like that so, we're going to watch Survivor tonight. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask you about something. Hold on. Okay, Kevin walked in. I forgot to ask you about your doctor's appointment. That went good. They uh, uh, gave me a, a tetanus shot, which was unusual. I wasn't expecting a tetanus shot. They said, when was the last time you had a tetanus shot? It's been the last 10 years. I said, or it's probably when I was like, 15, you know, I mean, I hadn't had a tetanus shot in years, so uh, they gave me one of those, and they drew blood, and of course, you have to give a urine sample and all that good stuff, so I got everything uh, probed and listened to and all that, so I got an EKG done, which is unusual, I guess because I'm getting old. I get an EKG to make sure my heart's They do it to me, too, yeah. though. They do. And you're getting old, too. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I got them to fill out my Humana Vitality um, piece of paper. It's like a three-page paper. And uh, they fill that out with your height, weight, blood work, all that stuff. And they send it into Humana. And you get up to, I think you get up to 2,000 points for that. So it's really good. I mean, you know, you're going to the doctor anyway. Why not go ahead and get the points for it? So it's a pretty cool, um, cool thing. And then if you do, um, you know, eye exams or dentist or anything, you take those pieces of paper and, and give them to fill out, you get points for it. So it wasn't too bad. I survived. So anyway, we're gonna watch, take a shower and watch Survivor, and that's gonna be it. Yep. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>